Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here. Welcome back to more Bloodborne with Sir Carlicus. This is not where we're gonna go. It's been a little while since we played Bloodborne, so I sort of want to get warmed up properly before we enter what has to be a boss arena. There's just no, no two ways about it. I'd rather just explore a little bit and get, get warm. Get, get, get warmed up, get ready to go. There's actually quite a lot of stuff that we've missed. Also a lot of things that I noticed during editing that we missed. It's strange, but when you focus on commentating, you miss so many things. So many little details. A bloodshot eyeball, just what I was looking for, yay. What is this? Material used in a holy chalice ritual. An exquisite eyeball removed quickly after death, or perhaps even before. Used to unlock the seal of the old Labyrinth Hinter tombs. Nice. I want to go back to the Hunter's Dream and explore a little bit, because apparently I've missed a few things there. Especially in the store. There were actually quite a lot of items that were available for me to get in the store, but I just scrolled right through them. I'm blind. I'm willing to admit I've made a mistake. I'm waiting for something to jump me here, but I don't get any lock on. So... I think we're good. I'm so skeptical about this path. But as I said, I want to explore around the boss area first. If at all possible. Our lantern is on. Providing us a little bit of... Little bit of light in this dark, dark time. Oh, is this like a whole new area? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This has to be new, right? Oh, there's so many people in the woods. I'm probably not that sneaky with my hand lantern. That's fine. Let's see if I can sneak up on somebody with the hand lantern still. Looks like that's possible. Ugh. He died from that attack, so there was no need to follow it up with a backstab. Oh! You're there too, are you? Alright. Get Take care of this little bad boy here. Oh! Somebody shot at me. Oh, he got me from over there. There's another beast there. I was sure he, he wouldn't be able to get me behind the tree there, but... Looks like I was wrong. Okay. Keep your eyes open. There could be beasts roaming anywhere. Quicksilver. Quicksilver. So today we're going to just take our time, check out what's in the store, explore the hunter's dream a little bit. Made sure that we are prepared to face the horrors that lie ahead. Could go further down the road, but let's clear out this area first, shall we? Okay, we got, I got two snipers on me. They do a lot of damage. That they do. Now I want to attack this guy without getting the others on my back. The ones patrolling behind me. Oh shit! Who threw those? Did somebody throw something that exploded? Did they shoot an exploding thing? Okay, we got two guys right here. Wait until this guy has to reload. Roll away from this guy. Hit him through the grave. Cause I'm a jerk. Okay. Oh, another one down there. This is a dangerous place to be. You can't really stand still here. You always got to be on your guard. You're gonna get sniped. This is a great place to farm Quicksilver, it seems, though. So that's good. I thought the old men in the wheelchair were gonna be the best place to do it, but these snipers seem pretty legit. Okay, so we have about three men over there. All of them snipers? Alright, well... I have a little thing known as horizontal swings that I think would come in handy here. Yeah! Horizontal swings! I think I'll just stick to my quick swords. I think I'll just stick to that. Ooh. Let's open up this gate. Oh, let's let's not go in over there. Okay, so we ran around there this time. Now I want to make my way 
Back to the... Back to the woods. What the frick? He has a gun? Oh, they come in all shapes and sizes. Well, I want to make my way back to the woods because we have quite a lot of echoes there. And I'd rather just explore that place first. Oh, there's a guy coming here. Luckily, they tend to just stand and shout a little bit. Which makes it easy to get past. Wonderful. And please don't bother me. Thank you. All right, we'll get our echoes back in no time. I want them. We're probably gonna need quite a lot of echoes if we want to start buying all the new stuff that's appeared in the store. So, hmm. I've also been thinking about whether or not we want to keep using insight to buy all the new gear because people want me to keep amassing more insights. So, I don't know. I really want to get the gear that I can get. But at the same time, it's not like I'm gonna buy the Tomb Prospector gear anytime soon because it's so expensive either way, so... I gotta draw the line somewhere, you know? We could just go over to the guys who killed me. I think I will. I think I will. Let's see, who got my Blood Echoes? The guy over here. I figured throwing a... Actually, I should, I should have figured that throwing a pebble wasn't going to do much for this guy. <sighs> He's just like, oh, can't be bothered. Ha! Die, fool! Got him! Got him back! Ah! I never thought just guys with guns would be difficult, but as I'm attacking one, another one is going to shoot me in the face. I think I should fight fire with fire. I think I should shoot him in the face. I don't do a lot of damage, but... It's my only ranged attack. There we go. I'm picking up so many bullets either way that... It doesn't really matter. Boop. Aha! Thrilling gameplay! How did you miss? Come on, Carlicus. How can you miss? Get him! You are so incompetent. Bam! Got him. Here goes all my bullets. Ah! There we go. That's the worst of them. Guy over there is taking aim. That's fine. Let me just loot this place over here. Bone marrow ash. I think that's actually quite good. I believe that strengthens the power of our bullets. Bone marrow ash. Is that... Where... Where is it? would think it would just be over here, but I can't... Oh, there. It's right there. Strength is Quicksilver Bullets. Okay, so that's probably for a short amount of time. Our bullets do more damage. That's pretty nice, actually. I'll take it. Make sure there's nobody else here. Ah, and I'm probably safe behind these graves here. I am indeed. We're gonna make our way around to you! Ah! There we go, now we should be able to get through. It's just a little stuck at the firing squad. Uh oh, I see the bullets. I mean the explosives. Nobody else is gonna activate them, right? Okay, good. I killed the ones who activated it the last time, I think. Okay, so got the treasures over there. I think I can go deeper into the woods now. We didn't seem to enter a new area, though. I didn't get any ominous warning. There's someone. Stop right- Did he even reload his gun? Didn't seem like it. Give me as much health back as I can get. And we're off! Ta-ta! Copper's will never catch me. Oh, wow! I- Okay, I was lucky there. I was not even looking in their general direction. I was just fixing my lamp and they both attacked me and missed. Scrubs. 
At least you're getting some practice finding the, the gun guys. The gun guy forest. That's what this is. Anybody else want to jump me? No? Okay. Let's go! Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. We probably should return to the hunter's dream. We got 12k blood echoes now. Henrik Charnel Lane. Oh, wow. Well, I think this is a great, a great time for us to go back to the hunter's dream. Well, we unlocked a new area. Very good, very good. Frontier headstone. Ah, so that's a new area then. I've been told to explore the hunter's dream a little bit more. And I suppose I will then. So I've probably missed something. There's a door here, which is closed. Not allowed entry. Such a scrub. Ooh, these are the altars. I thought they were just gravestones. Makeshift altar. Short ritual root chalice. Use the ritual altar to create a chalice dungeon with the chalice ritual. Which is for chalice dungeons created by hunters in other worlds. Chalice ritual. Okay, hold on. Let me just see the... The Meru chalice. Blood echoes 1000. Okay. So this is a fixed dungeon. So I assume by going into this one, we pay like an entrance fee and then we get a shot at doing the dungeon. And if we complete the dungeon, we probably get awesome loot. Second ritual altar. So there are several different dungeons and I think you can also get variations on that dungeon. Okay, good to know that's where I do it. Oh, look at this. There's more. There's more to the garden. How wonderful. Stump messenger! Give accessories to messengers! Messenger top hat? <gasps> so fancy! Yes! Okay, what if I give you the black messenger top hat? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, now they're beautiful. Does that have any effect? Or is that just, just for fun? Just for looks? Well, they're, they're beautiful now. We've done a good deed. We've done a good deed. We've fought for fashion. Because you guys right now only sell... We sell some, some useful stuff. But what I'm really interested in is down there. I want to just have another look here. I don't think there's anything new I can do at this exact moment in this place. I found out where I can use the chalices, which is wonderful. Okay. Let's see what we can buy. Bum 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 bum. We can buy bone marrow ash. More bold hunter's marks. We can buy ritual blood here. So that's pretty cool. Hunter chief emblem. Guess we won't need that now. Kirk hammer. Ludwig's holy blade. A trick weapon typically used by the healing church hunters. It is said that the silver sword was employed by Ludwig, employed by Ludwig, the first hunter of the church. When transported, combines with his sheet to form a great sword. I like great swords. The healing church workshop began with Ludwig and departed from old German's techniques to provide hunters with the means to hunt more terrifying beasts, and perhaps things still worse. Let's see. We need twelve skill for that, though. We don't have that. It doesn't have as great of a scaling either, but it might be worth checking out. Now, something like the Rifle Spear, I doubt we would ever use. Stake Driver is kind of cool. But I guess that would... I don't know, should we try out the Stake Driver? Violent device thick staves into the flesh of foes. High damage critical attacks is difficult to use and leaves the wielder wide open. High damage critical attacks. I'm kind of intrigued about it, but I don't know if I should spend all my blood echoes on it. Hey, look at this! Ludwig's rifle. That requires some more, three more levels of blood tinge. A rifle typically used by healing church hunters. This long, heavy barrel makes up in range for what it lacks in reload speeds. A rifle. Interesting. Oh, there are so many things here. And once again, that tomb prospector gear. Oh, this is this is very nice. I kind of want to just 
try out most weapons at some point, I think. But that would mean gathering quite a lot of blood echoes. I kind of want to save up for Ludwig's Holy Blade. It sounds really good. I love those. Actually, I can pop a few blood. Thick cold bloods. I love great swords. Usually my go-to in these kinds of games. Boom. Hey, looks like we'll be able to buy it right away. All right, let's acquire Ludwig's Holy Blade. Yeah, let's have a look. All right, still gonna need that skill. Still gonna need that skill. We cannot even equip it if you don't have the attributes. Okay. Well then, if we're gonna need two levels, we're gonna need to train a little bit, or at least get some more, get some more stuff. So is there a place, there's actually somewhere we've uh, passed by some good things. So let's go back to that workshop tower. Somebody said that I missed something in this area here. In that tower, when you jump down, when you enter, look down to your left. You should see a pretty small platform. Platform down there? Thought I went through this pretty thoroughly, but I guess I didn't. Over here, I suppose. Let's see. Oh, you're right, there is a door there. Oh, perhaps it would be best to jump down. No, but how would one get directly underneath that? What's the best way of reaching that door? Going down further or jumping from here? Okay, let's just... Ooh. All right, that's how you jump. Oh boy, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea, folks. That's never stopped me. Oh fuck. Sometimes you should let your bad idea stop you. I'm trying to think of a better way of getting over there. Guess if I manage to drop over to this one. Fun! He bounced off a plank up there instead of doing what I wanted him to do. I bounced off that little plank that's jutting out right there. Cause I don't think I can drop down this way. That doesn't quite work out. Probably an easy way of getting over here, but it's the wonders of being blind. Thank you. There we go. Almost what I wanted, but it's close enough. Hey, new area. Thanks for pointing that out. The source of the dream. Okay. Abandoned old workshop. Why did I get a trophy for entering here? What was that spook? You saw that spooky- Do I have more insight now? Is that what happened? Wait, I hear somebody. Do I? Yeah, I hear some whimpering or something. Hmm. Let's see if we can find the source of it. This place looks oddly familiar. Doll gear? Wow, I wonder how we got to this, this... Oh my, yes! <laughs> You're gonna be so fancy! <laughs> Look at that, great fire assist though. Yes! Aha! Nobody better fuck with this doll. I love it because he's wearing the doll outfit, but it still has this really serious look on his face. Like, he thinks he's badass, when he's really not. Perfect. The old hunter bone. 
Let's see, what might one want to do with an old... The Art of Quickening. Speeds up rolling and quick steps. That requires 15 arcane. And it uses four quicksilver bullets. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at this. The third umbilical cord. That's an abandoned doll. Maybe I could interact with her with even more insights. A great relic, also known as the cord of the eye. Every infant great one has his precursor to the umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Used to gain insight, and so they say eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what they truly entails. I think I should keep those, actually. I think those are important. Keep them umbilical cords around. Small hair ornament. Hair. Hair, hair, hair. What might this be, then? Speak up. Although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of care, which once this tasteful ornament was once kept. The color was stand almost brilliantly against a head of grayish hair. Huh, okay, so I gotta find somebody with gray hair and deliver that back, I suppose. Thought I heard some moaning in here. You hear that too? It's very faint. Can't seem to find the source, actually. So I think I'm going back. I'm going back with my fancy new outfit. Do you like my outfit? It's beautiful. We got matching outfits, girl. Aren't you happy? I know, I know she is. Deep down. Unseen headstone abandoned old workshop. Nice, we're starting to unlock these. We're starting to get them unlocked. Well, there's one more area that I feel like I want to explore a little, that I feel like I didn't get proper time with. I want to go back down over here. I've actually been told that it's not the worst thing in the world to get killed by the sack guy in here. Which has me a little curious, but that's not what I wanted to check out right away. Because I feel like there was a street here that I never went down. I never explored it, so that's what I wanted to do right now. So there's the sack guy. So we'll... I might just be get untrolled, but... He is a unique enemy. Over here, I wanted to check out what was going on in this place. Ah! Jerks. Whoop! Yeah! Get killed! I am a pretty doll. So freaking pretty. I never went down here. What is that? Oh boy. I do not know what that is. Come over here. I'm not getting close to you. What the f What? That is weird. Oh, he's coming! Oh, he's coming! Oh, he has melee! Oh, he's resistant to my melee attacks, man. That's scary! Oh, oh no! Oh, he's the one who drains my in- Screw you. He drained two inside. At least now I know how those guys, uh, who, who are the inside drainers. Ah, he's so scary! Oh, man. He made me more sane by attacking me. Fire blood gemstone. Nice. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. 
Fire attack up, HP continues to recover. Nice. Fire attack up. Is that all that was down here? Did I get sucked off by that creepy guy just for that? Doll outfit is working already. Okay, well that was just all I wanted to explore. Now, I don't have that many souls on me and I am curious actually. Hey you. He is so frightening. Okay. Hello to you too. I'm standing still and you're still struggling. Is he gonna put me in his bag? That'd be kind of scary. Ah! Doink. Oh wow. Well, I died. Oh, you guys weren't joking, huh? Oh, man. I like that, though. Finding a new area because you died to a certain enemy. Although, I'd probably never really be back there fighting him, to be honest, because I'd already gone through the area. He almost killed me, but it was this pitchfork guy who gave the finishing blow. I'm just a pretty little doll! Who would capture a pretty little doll like me? Yahar Ghoul Unseen Village. Hello? You know what? No, that's... I'm good. That's enough for today. Oh man, there are some spooky things going on here. And now that we have our beautiful outfit on, people are more eager than ever to kidnap us and give us unwanted French kisses. So, tune in to the next episode when Carlicus's amazing adventures continue. Have a still good day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.